Hey everybody, I just wanted to pop in tonight and show you um, a little something I was doing this weekend. I had a play date with some of my artsy pals, um, Ellen Smith Vargo, Connie Burns, Terry Quinn, um, and the famous or infamous Hell Sheridan was over visiting Ellen from the UK and I got to meet her and play with her all day. So it was pretty cool. I, of course, was jelly plating most of the day and was just playing with different things and did something that's, again, not so much rocket science, but it came up with a kind of a cool effect. So I'm going to show you real quick here, get right to it. And I'm going to use my favorite color combination to show you guys this, if I can find it. Blue, green. Oh, blue, green, that's it. I like the green, blue, and the blue, green, but again, that's the paint tube, not me. Arr. Okay, you can see I'm going for like a pattern of where I'm putting the color. So that kind of takes the element of surprise out of this. I'm kind of chuckling to myself because it's, again, not, uh, not rocket science, but I liked it. I like the effect. Put a little more copper on there. So this is copper, iridescent fine, co no, iridescent copper light fine from Goldens, the turquoise fallow from Goldens, both fluid acrylics, and the uh, studio acrylics from PBO in the blue green. So what I'm going to do is just try to keep them in their own little areas um, and go kind of diagonally, working them in, in a gradient kind of an effect all the way across the plate. I got a little too much paint on there. Again, I'm famous for doing that. Well, maybe not famous, but I do it a lot. I, I like to get a couple more than just one pull out of what I put on there. So, ooh, that's pretty on there. I like that. Um, oh, mercy, what do I have on there? Actually, I'm going to add another little drop of copper. Lord, I hope this doesn't end up like it did the other day with all what not to do's. Ah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch up my brayer for that little bit so that I don't mess up the exact point that I'm trying to make. And I'm going to take one of my faves, Aboriginal. That is awesome. Do you guys have that one? It's really fun. Julie Faye Fan Balls are strikes again. So, oh, didn't even grab any paper. Unprepared. Here we go. So, I just think the gradient effect of this is really cool. So, not too hard on my first kind of pull because a little bit of a paint fiend here of late. We have a little peak. Oh, not quite enough. A little harder. Get in those. This one has kind of small little bits of the negative space so you do kind of have to push a little bit more to get a full print of this one now hello what do we have here okay here we go see that gradient effect and that pbo glow in the middle um, the little shine from the copper hopefully you guys can see that you can see where this kind of puckered uh, in here because there is really too much paint. But do you notice anything different about this print? I did it. I told you I was going to do it, and I did it. I cut down my big jelly plate. It was driving me crazy. I guess it was made for fabric, and I don't really do fabric. So, cut her down. And made it to say the eight and a half by eleven size, so I don't get any white border around the edges. And I think that just might save me a step when I go to use these whole pages and books and things that I plan to do make with it. 
with all the tons of papers I have now. So, let's see this again. Ooh, rats. Didn't push enough up on the copper side, but still not bad. And this one, I'm going to try to, I would try to get another pull out of there, but I'm just going to try to do a little clean up here and get on to the next uh, color and then show you a few samples I did the other day. Um, when I had this little stroke of genius, I know it's not, but I don't have many, so I got to fluff them up whenever I come up with a new idea. Ooh, I like that. And there's a little reverse image on the cleanup. Okay, I'm going to let that be where it is down there. And let me show you in a little bit brighter um, array of colors. Where's my bright color? Here we go. Let's do this. Make that corner a little bit bigger. See, that's still too much paint. I have a problem with that. Hmm. Shocker. A little bit of orange-yellow PBO. Let's go to... Where's Scarlet? That's a good color. It's flat. It doesn't all have shimmer in it. Oh, Lord. Some of these have glued themselves shut. Oh, mercy. Must be losing my strength. Okay, let's get this. What? I'm going to save myself the heartache and get rid of a little bit of that yellow now. See how smart I'm getting? Oh my god. I tell you, you screw up enough stuff and waste enough paint, you get pretty darn smart. Just saying. I don't know where you guys live, but I am just outside of Baltimore in a little town called Severn, Maryland. It's freezing here. It was one degree this morning when I left for work. Yes, I do have a real job. Thank God. Support my habit, but otherwise, 24-7, I'd be down here in the damn jelly plate. Ooh, this is getting pretty yummy over here on the cleanup. Okay, let's do this 3D one. The more I use this one, the more I like it. Now, of course, the problem with cutting this down is that now these 11-inch stencils, a little shy. Getting a little painy because of that, but that's okay. I wouldn't recognize myself half the time anymore if I didn't have paint smeared from head to toe. So, I'm going to give this one a pretty good smush because of those little areas. Get it down in there. Try to get all the colors from the yellow through the oranges down into the reds. Okay. Can you guys see that? Just kind of gradiates all... Is that a word? I'm making up words again. Ah, me and Norm Crosby. Yellow into the oranges. The oranges a little bit into the reds. The scarlet into the red-blue. And that 3D stencil. Love it. I'm trying to get a second pull out of this one while I have the paint down there. And then I'll show you a few that I did the other night. Well, the other day. We were there from pretty much 10 to 10 for 12 hours with a couple breaks to eat something. I was jelly plating. Had a sore shoulder by the time I got home that night. This is hard work. So much for everything in moderation. Oh, again, I like the second pull better. It's got that kind of natural shading around it. Love it. Okay, let me do a little sandwich. 
pick up this goodness. I tell you what, this thing was hard to cut down um, just because of the texture of it and how squishy, mushy, swishy it is. It was hard to get a grip on that puppy, I tell you. And I was a little crooked, got to tell you. I trimmed off another little piece that was um, out of whack. But one thing I do need to do is trim it down a smidge more. See that right there? That ends up to my elbows. Because when I push on this, see that little scrunch right there where it's squeezing out? I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Didn't think that all the way through. But I can still trim it down. There's the reverse. And the reverse again. And there you go. Hopefully you can see that gradient. Not bad, huh? So, um, I don't want to drag this out. You guys see me pick this up many times. Um, but let me show you a few of the examples. I'll wipe these hands off before I get those scunged up. Um, I did a couple pages here that I really liked. And I you oh, I should have done that. Mm, not so prepared again. This one, I really liked how it turned out. I did it on striped cardstock. I bought a package of, um, I don't know if it was at Michael's or Staples. It had several different designs of uh, maybe five or six designs of black and white cardstock in one pack. Um, this one was striped. So I started with that stripe. Then I used my 3D stencil, the same one as this. And I did the gradient in white and black. And I put it like half and half. And in the middle, I tried to drag some of the white into here and some of the black here and got this gray swatch over it with the 3D. It's kind of hard to see the white up here, but the black lines behind it make it somewhat visible. And then I thought, what could I do to make it better? A scarlet flourish. And there it is. That's how that one turned out. So I thought, I might be onto something here. So, of course, being the mental case that I am, I went a little crazy with that idea. Some of these are good. Some of them are eh. Some of them are bad. Here's another one I did in that, my favorite combo on my favorite stencil. Going copper down into the tealy blue green green blues and then into the fallow turquoise Ew, that one, not so much on that one um, this one I did on striped this is a little bit too much I think it's too dark I did it on the striped paper but I just was playing with a gradient of greens into turquoise purple and the fallow down here with my aboriginal and black over top of that loving the PBO shine Here's another one I pulled off that, the second pull I think it was, or maybe this was the first pull off that black and white mix on striped, and then I put the red-blue flourish over top of this now. Hopefully you can see that color change. I think I should be getting a commission from PBO Paints. Hmm. Anybody knows how to work on that, let me know, would you? This one, not so pretty, but you can see the pink. The hot pinks down into the purples. I don't know what the hell I did on top of that, but it was looking okay for a while until that last layer. Here's another pull off of that green. This is the reverse of that green down into fallow. Um, here's one I did was starting with yellow down into greens and turquoises and then in a, ending in the um, blue-black uh, PBO. I don't know how to hold these so you guys can see that shimmer. Oh, and a new Stencil Girl stencil. Love me some spirals. I think I have another one in here like that. This one's a little bit better example. Um, the scribble stencil in the background, pinks and purples. And another Stencil Girl uh, stencil for a little plop of black on top of it. That's not bad. Oops. Oops. Sorry, you're shaking. Klutz. Um... Hot Family again with a couple, I think I had a reverse of the Aboriginal and then some dots on top of that. Another one of the Hot Color Family with dots. Oh, this one, this one turned out nice, um, in my opinion. Again, my favorite combo, but this, this one turned out a nice press. 
and I put that black pop on there that I love, which is the Urban Jungle, again, from Stencil Girl. She's got some stencils going on there, I'm telling you. If you haven't checked out StencilGirl.com, you're missing out. Here's the reverse of the scribbles. No, you know what? The other ones were the reverse. This is the scribble stencil with the white lines blocked out. That's the stencil. And then the little black jungle on top of there. Here's the a uh, hot family colors pull with that the uh, swirl stencil over top of that. Loving that one. Here's like the third pull I got off of that same plate. Not bad. Ooh. Well, this isn't the same technique, but one of my favorite color families with that swirl. I just love the way that came out with that shimmer and that real faint crackle design. You can't hate that. Anyway, short night. Just wanted to show you guys that. And um, I have some other ideas coming soon. And soon I'll be post posting my, um, my bit that I'm going to do with my new secret stencils from the artist seller that I cannot show you. Oops, can't show you. Oops, I'm going to show you. Nope, not going to show you. Can't do it. But this will be coming soon. I think my day to post is the 4th of February. Is that the Tuesday or the 5th? I forget. It's in my calendar. That's why I have a calendar because I can't remember a damn thing anymore. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good night. Have fun jelly plating. I'll see you next time. Bye.